Hey everybody, I had to run to the grocery store yesterday and lo and behold, look was out on the trash with about three other coolers. I didn't, the coolers look completely disgusting and I didn't want to open them and don't need any coolers. So here we have a Ryobi handheld gas blower 2007 and it was sitting out for the uh, trash. Looks like it's been uh, sitting for some time. So let's see if it pulls over. All right, well, it still pulls over. Let's flip it on its side. And let's take a look at the gas in there. Uh oh, it looks like maybe there's a problem in there. There is some gas in there, and I, and I can see that the internal fuel filter, right, right, now, right, right there in the corner, is floating around so the fuel lines are broken yeah there i got it shaking around a little bit better let me get a bit better shot of that right there there's the fuel filter laying in the bottom so it looks like first thing we're going to do is uh well actually first thing we do we got a little starting fluid let's go ahead and spray a little starting fluid and make sure it runs so let's close that back up but we're definitely going to have to fix the fuel lines so let's pull the uh, air filter assembly off here. Uh, no air filter. Okay. So, let G Junior spray some stuff in there. Alright. Hold. Is it? Guess it. Well, it does seem like it's up. It is capable of running. So let's see what we got to do. Well, it looks like this handle here has a thumb screw here and a thumb screw there. Then the gas tank is held in by a screw here and a screw here. And then it looks like maybe we'll have to pull the pull starter off because the pull starter goes in front of the tank. So let's me start getting some of this stuff taken apart. And we'll, we got fuel line for this, right? I think so. So I think we, fuel filter. Uh, we can probably reuse that fuel filter. So up, oh, look, this one even has a ground strap hook into this handle. That's a, that's really good. Um, so there's that. So now we're gonna have to get a T. Looks like a T20. Oh, actually, we unplug this right here. All right, there's the handle. Looks like a T20, maybe a T27. And we'll get this tank off and start replacing the lines. Uh, yeah, these, this line, look right there. That line just split on me as I was messing around with it. And now we're going to figure out which line goes where. All right, let's get, we'll get the tank off. We'll reline, we'll put some new fuel lines on so we can get this one running. All right, so all the bolts are T20s. Uh, four T20s on the pull start and the pull start just lifts off. And then there's a screw there and a screw there. And then the tank just lifts right out and these lines are all just terribly rotten so we're going to try to replace all the lines so i do believe this is the fuel in on this carburetor and then it comes out goes through the primer bulb and then back into the tank and as you can see this thing is just they're just falling apart so we do have new fuel line we're going to dump this fuel that's in the tank. We're going to dump this fuel in our t into uh, a container for now. We have a, where's the uh, used gas container? He's going to go get the used gas container and then we're going to dump this gas out and try to get the fuel filter out and get the rest of the broken part of the lines out. So go ahead and uh, we don't want to lose any of that stuff that's in there. Actually, the fuel looks like it's pretty good. So maybe he was using it up until the lines broke. Uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, can you? Yeah, there you go. See all the stuff just lying in there, the fuel filter and all the lines. So um, spread out a rag. Put the gas can on the ground. Spread out a rag, and we will attempt to. Uh, there you go. Skip. 
Hey, there it is. Oh, that thing looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, ew. That thing is really nasty. Well, we have a carburetor cleaner, so we'll try to get that clean. And here, go ahead and pull on that line there. Let's go ahead and pull on it. Uh, you almost got it. <laughs> yeah, see what happened? It just fell apart. So, all right, we got all the old lines out. Let me go look through the stash of stuff and find some new fuel lines and we'll refuel line this tank. So we're going to go ahead and change all the fuel lines. There's the primer bulb and there's a little piece of line that runs from the carburetor into the primer bulb and then that line there runs out of the primer bulb back into the gas tank. So to get this piece off it's mounted on with the carburetor mounting bolts. So we're going to take those two bolts out, which are also T30s, to get in here to replace that little piece of fuel line. So I pulled the two screws out of here. I said T30s. I made a mistake. I think they're T20s. Um, the socket's really hard to read. So then I went ahead and I replaced this fuel line. I know it's a little bit long. I know it's a little bit long, but at least it's there. And then um, now we need to run a new fuel line into the tank, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Luckily, this is the right size fuel line. Um, I already had the return line inserted, but I'm going to show you how to get the line in there. Um, my razor blade is too dull, so you take your fuel line, make sure it's the right size, and you go ahead and you cut it at an angle. Once you get it cut at an angle, you should be able to get it started and then you can just push it on in. This one is actually really quite easy. I also have a pair of hemostats that I'll reach in and grab and pull the fuel line out. So this one here, I don't know how much fuel line I need, but when you're using it, the fuel bulb should be pretty far down. So I'm gonna put a pretty generous amount of line, maybe that's a little too much, so at least it falls. I want it to be down in this area, and then what I'll do is I'll just cut this cut this flush, and we we found another, hmm? I think the filter's clogged. Yeah, we have another filter. We're not sure if this is a new one or a clogged one or not, and we haven't cleaned up the old one, so now what we'll do is we'll insert this and insert that all in put this back in and cut this to length and reinstall it. Um, we're going to try to first, we're, should we try to clean this fuel filter first? Yeah. The original? You don't think so? Nope. Okay, let's just give it a spray and see what it does. Well, it's open. You know, maybe it's just the way it's made. I think we were going to roll with the original fuel filter. So, this is the line that goes in the tank. We're going to go ahead and insert this on and make sure it's on all the way. This thing originally had like a barb, like a fuel filter, but this had like rubber lines and this isn't going to work. So, this is definitely tight enough. So, now I'm just going to tuck that in and if I think that's too much line I can always pull some back out okay, that's the return did it fall oh, there we go Well, I know it's in there. I can't see it. I'm trying to use the flashlight to see it. I know it's in there. I know I pulled enough through, so that should be good enough. So now what I'll do is put the tank back in, figure out how much I need, which is about this much. And we'll give that a snip. Now the real problem one is going to be hooking up this one inside, the one inside for the uh, return bulb. 
So I think I'm going to use the hemostat to grab just what I need. Hey, man, I'm glad we bought these hemostats. We bought these hemostats up at Carlisle, Pennsylvania when we went up there for the big swap meet. Now this line... Yeah, we bought them in Newmarket. Uh, did we buy these at Newmarket? Oh, yeah, that's right. We bought them at Newmarket. Small pair I got at Carlisle. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that line crushed down after I cut it. So we'll do the same thing. We'll grab a, just about that much. Okay, we got the fuel lines on. So what we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and bolt the tank back in, get the pull starter. We'll get all this back together, we'll fill it up with gas, and we'll see if we can get it to run. All right, we got everything bolted back together. He put a bunch of gas in the gas tank, flip it back up, go ahead and start pressing the primer bulb. Let's see if we get some fuel flowing through to make sure we got it hooked up right. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, just give it a second. It's a long line. You know, I think we have it hooked up right. Here. I think the, uh, there we go, we're getting something now. I think the uh, line. the line was at the bottom of the tank. There we go, yeah, see now we're flowing. All right. Let's make sure it stays at the bottom of the tank. If not, we're gonna have to shorten that line up. There we go, now we got, now it's in the right spot. We have good, pure fuel on both ends. So we left the cover off in case we have to uh, um, start is up, but how come that doesn't stay up? You have to. You have to. You know. Oh, it, uh, it's like that. There we go. Let's come over here. Now we're just going to go ahead and hit it with a little starting fluid to see if we can get it up and running and get the fuel flow going. Well, it's definitely running on its own right now. Didn't like that. 
Um, well, anyway, here's one that was out for the trash and the fuel lines were falling apart. It does sound like it probably needs a carburetor overhaul. But let's see if it's. <laughs> Like I said earlier, there's one that was out for the trash that just needed fuel lines. It probably could use a carburetor overhaul, but the longer we run it, the better it seems to run. Um, you know, uh, there's one out for the trash. Fixed. Fixed for now. So um, we'll play with a little bit more, get some more fuel through it, and um, maybe that's all it needed. All right, everybody, I think we're going to leave this one in here. It's like we might have to rebuild the carburetor, but I think if we just run some gas, it'll be okay. So I want to remind everybody, please subscribe. You can always do that right there in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Hey, if you don't like the videos, please give me a thumbs down. Um, please share, please comment, and please subscribe. I would like to really get some more viewers. Thanks a lot. All right, some bonus footage. We uh, got some awesome clean and just cleaned it up. Make it look a little bit better. Go ahead and rev it up. Alrighty, and we just took and been running it, and it's running better and better and better, getting that fuel through, cleaning up that old oil that's probably in the carburetor. So there you go. There's your bonus footage. It's running good. I don't think we're going to have to take the carburetor apart.